Well guys, welcome back to Swamp Truck Overland. I'm Sam and I am here at Oheniwai on the edge of the Waikato River. Um, in this trip I am going absolutely nowhere near the Waikato. <laughs> no, um, I had a meeting in Huntley that I had to attend and um, use that excuse to do a bit of a trip. So I've got a few days off and I'm heading up to the Coromandel. And by Coromandel I mean the very tip of the peninsula. Port Jackson, Fletcher's Bay, that sort of area. Um, and might even make it my way around to the other side to Stony Bay. We'll see how we go. But um, yeah, all finished in Huntley and just thought I'd stop here at this little rest area that I often stop at. Oh, you saw it. And I'm in the van. Um, but wow, this river, this is the highest I've seen this river in a long time. Like normally there's a couple of meter drop from that edge of that bank down to the river um, and it's almost all the way up to it. Um, yeah, so in this trip I'm in the van. Um, it's had a few little issues, rust being one of them, um, that's all sorted now and it's got a fresh warrant and reg. So, well as of Thursday and today is Saturday so cutting it fine as usual. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd bring that out for a trip. Um, I don't know if I've put that other video out yet or not, but um, I am selling this shortly. <laughs> um, which is a shame, I do like it, but um, I've got something just as cool. Yeah, I don't know what all the videos are going to come out in, so I don't know how much sense that will make, but anyway... Um, so come along and enjoy. I have to make my way from here over to, well, where I'm going to start my trip is around Thames at the Carringer Valley. But, um, yeah, a little bit of a story first. So on my way down this, well, I came down last night and stayed en route. But um, as I was getting close to Auckland, I started noticing a bit of a weird noise from the brakes. And, um... Yeah, stopped on the side of the road basically in a gravel pit for the night because I didn't want to drive too much further and um, popped the wheels off this morning and investigated the issue and what I found is that the driver's side brake caliper um, had stuck on the sliders and jammed sort of half on so the inside brake pad had worn down to the metal and yeah, it wasn't ideal so luckily I was in Auckland so waited till the shops opened Went and got some brake pads, and they didn't fit. Tried to find ones that would fit, nothing had stock. Um, could get some up from Masterton, um, but this is like half past nine, ten o'clock in the morning by this stage, and I had to be in Huntley by noon, and it's like, oh crikey, what can I do? Um, but luckily the pads were pretty close. It was just a sort of a, a little tab, I'll show you what I mean. Um, that was a different size, so I had a file luckily, it took ages, but um, I managed to resize one brake pad to fit, which got me out of trouble for now. Oh, I obviously freed up the caliper sliders so that that's not happening. Um, but yeah, I've got one new brake pad and three old ones in there at the moment, so what I've got to do is adjust all of them. So I'm going to go to a friend's house that's not too far from here, use some tools, and should be back on the road in no time. Okay, so I've solved the issue. Um, got the new pads in. Had to grind them down a little bit to make them fit on there. Um, but the issue is this slider here, the bit that goes through the middle, um, had seized. I've freed it up the best I can, lubricated it a little bit, but I'll probably have to check it again when I get home. Um, should be right for this trip. And that is the difference. The size of that little cutout notch there. Um, and I see the original pads out of the van there. Somebody's enlarged them anyway, so. So just giving it a touch with the grinder. And um, she's gem. Well, it's the next day, and um, at least I've got the brakes sorted. The slider had stuck again, so I had to pull it apart properly and free it up and clean it. And I think I've got it sorted now, but I'll be keeping an eye on it. Um, and then, yeah, use the, use the grinder to adjust the pads. Got them all in, everything all checked over and it's um yeah going great but yeah I've basically lost a day anyway it's it could be a lot worse if I couldn't have fixed it myself um, I would be stranded until Monday um, and it would have ruined the whole trip but either way all sorted and on the road um, I've just got to stop in Thames which is 
15 20 minutes that way um, get some groceries and then I'm heading on up to the Coromandel proper or so I say anyway um, we're gonna go up through Coromandel town Colville hit the gravel and head right on up the top um, it's gonna take me most of the day to get up there with mucking around with cameras and a bit of geocaching and stops on the way so that's what it's all about for me really um, well anyway enough yapping let's get on with it So this is the view from the Manaya Road saddle. So we've just come up from down there um, and um, heading over the hill towards Tacoma, I think it is. Well, just heading over the hill towards Coromandel Town. Um, but yeah, check out this view. So that there is Waiheke Island. And um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. Straight over there is Auckland City. I can actually, I think I can see the Sky Tower. Yeah, it's a little bit of a grey day, but that's alright. I'm still having fun. And this is the view down the other side of the hill. Um, that's a small harbour, I believe. And I'm here at Colville, um, sporting one of the only general stores that you see these days. Um, well, at least one that calls itself a general store. Um, but looking through it, it doesn't look like much has changed over the years. A few, like, all the new shiny products on the shelf, but the store's still the original old one. It's pretty awesome to see. Caution, road not maintained by council. Not road ends. Um, private property up there. But a track with a Dot Kiwi Zone sign, evidence people have been driving on it, and it is on my maps. So we'll go have a bit of a look, shall we? This is a bit um, precarious. It's fitting. Oh, yeah, it fits. 
just. Ugh. And we have arrived at a locked gate, which is about what I expected really, private road from here on out, um, but we're still interesting few hundred metres. Um, conveniently there is a little turnaround spot just on that corner there, um, so you, once you meet this gate you can turn around, but yeah, the tracks have been continuing, so whoever's been using this access track carries on up, probably dock, there's signs of um, pest control lines and stuff along the edge of the track. But, um, cool, that was a neat little adventure. We we'll just turned around and head back out. It is a bit of a tight manoeuvre getting through those trees there. See, I've got a branch there. <laughs> and a dirty great one over there. And um, that one up there, but... Look at old Van, she fits. And this is Colville Bay. So the little township's just around the corner there. Um, and this is only about 2Ks down the road from um, where I was a few moments ago. Uh, and this is, yeah, the wharf, I'm guessing, or there used to be a wharf there, it's called Wharf Road. Um, but this here, see the rocks laid out around there, um, apparently is an ancient fish trap. So the idea was that when the tide was up, the fish would come in, the flounder, they'd get stuck in there, and then when the tide went out, you'd just walk out there and pick them up. So that is where I'm going. So you, can you see the road along the edge over there? So I've got to go around, um, I believe the gravel starts about over there and then for the last almost hour drive up to Port Jackson you're on this gravel road that follows the coast around. So it goes up around that point and carries on. Anyway, I will show you the road on the way. Uh, and it's just starting to rain. I always knew this was a possibility but I always hoped it wouldn't. Anyway, we are going left for Port Jackson.
okay it's a bit windy so I might voice over this one um, this here is the Para 2 granite wharf um, there used to be a big granite quarry here back in the day and um, this is where they'd load it so you see all the little marks on the edge of the rocks that's where they drill in set dynamite and then set it off in order to crack the rock open you can see the drill marks on this rock from where they um, drilled it to set the charges it's pretty cool and as you can see this side is a lot more uniform actually come in I would imagine Well, it's turned into a stunning evening here. I'm just at Fantail Bay, and wow, amazing! But yeah, this is the dock camp up the hill there. So there's already quite a few people here, which is surprising. Um, seven k's up over the hill to Port Jackson. So let's go check that out and see how busy it is there, because that camp is right on the beach. And what I'm after, I think, for tonight. So. This road up over the hill looks cool. We'll, um, hmm. As you can see, this goat track of a road winds its way up the edge of the cliff. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Top Gear came here when they were in New Zealand. Back when they were Top Gear with Jeremy and James May and Richard Hammond. Um, and you can see around there where the road is that I've come. Wow! It was raining earlier and now it's, um, well, I guess you can see the rain over there still, but it's turned into a fantastic evening. It's about five o'clock, I think. Yeah, half past five, wow. Um, but I'm almost where I'm going to camp for the day, for the night. Um, I think I'll leave going up to the end of Fletcher's Bay there until the morning. I don't know, I'll see what, how the mood takes me when I get over the hill.
Okay, so I've just wound my way up there, and I present to you Port Jackson. I see there's a few campers down there, um, but there's plenty of space normally, so it's pretty cool. This is right at the top of the peninsula, um, or at least over that 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 bit there is. Um, tomorrow morning we'll go along to the end of the road, I think it's another eight or so k's, to Fletcher's Bay. Uh, it's a cool spot there but it's a little bit more inland, not right on the beach like Port Jackson and I can't pass up the opportunity. It's such an awesome spot. Anyway, let's get down there and um, start cooking some dinner. And I think that is me for tonight. Um, how good is this guys? Right on the waterfront. Um, there's somebody through the trees there, but that's not too bad. Um, and a bus and a motorcycle up there. Um, so it's pretty quiet this time of year. It's quite nice. Just um, being able to spread out like this. Check out the beach. Just got dinner on, but what a view to cook to, eh? Not bad at all. Thanks again for watching. Part 2 of this trip will be out shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Also, I have been a bit slack lately with my uploads. Um, I'm hoping to be better at that in the new year. So, I'll see you again shortly. Cheers, guys.